Novum has just arrived and it's the coolest synth that I've ever seen. It's a granular synth. So if you know about granular, and basically you can chop a sound into tiny, tiny segments and take each little piece and randomize those and you can make all sorts of stuff happen. Novum goes one step further and it breaks the sound down into one, two, three, four, five, six, six individual portions. So I think it's by frequency band, but in any case, it takes all these little pieces and you can granularize each of those and you can automate each of those separately to each other, um, even temporarily. So this is amazing stuff. And what's more, I managed to get it working on Linux. This is the Windows version. And I finally got Yabridge sorted, learned how to use it, stuck it stuck it in and got Novum working. And um, I'm so pleased that I did. Uh, I got it working on Windows as well, obviously, but um, it works the same. So if you want me to do a video about yeah, bridge and using Windows plugins. I'll do, I'll do one of them soon. Let me know in the comments if you're interested. Um, so this is it. On with Novum. Oh, and by the way, I got this one free of charge because it comes through Traction, and um, I'm an affiliate of Traction. So if you'd like to buy it, I'd appreciate it if you'd buy it through the link down below. So the first, the first thing we look at here is, like if we look at, get any of the mods up, any of the presets, I mean, um, it's just mind blowing. Or look at this, so this init patch, and let's grab, um, Let's grab a piece of audio and we just grab it, drop it in and decomposes the audio. And there it is. And you can play with it right there. You can set your start and end points. So that's an L. I don't know what that is. Let's see the start point here. Let's try a different start point. Let's go for here. So it's a bell sound, right? Um, put an end point in here. It'll reach the end and it'll go back again. That's because it's set on ping pong. And you can set it to one shot, cycle, ping pong. Forward, backwards. Ray trigger, keep position. So, and these ones can link up to different parts. So, <clears throat> if you grab this and drag it, it drags that into all these different portions. So, this one, if I hold shift and hold and press that, it solos that one. I'm not hearing anything on that one. Why did that come in so strangely? Let's check out some of the ones that we've got as presets. So if we we can go in here into the hamburger menu or whatever they call it and check out all of these patches. So many patches. And look, all of these different creators. And well, there's a few different creators involved. Um, orbits, let's try that.
And when you do chords, the time stays the same for each note of the chord, so. There's a C, C minor chord there. Um, I did a random mod where I took one of the one of the existing mods and I, I created it um, I made all of these different things happen with steps LFO more steps another LFO random so you have all of these parameters that you can shift you see all of these things shifting here so you've got timbre envelope Sintify, FX, mod. So, this is how this one sounds. That started life as a very simple. Started life as a very simple drum pattern. If you're into experimental music, this is amazing stuff. Or if you want to create lush pads under stuff. Um, oh, by the way, if you want to use these things to affect things, say you want the LFO to affect something, like the speed and the envelope or whatever, you click on the speed there and then you can turn that and then that does that. So it's sort of back to front if you're used to using Bitwig. It's um, it's the other way around to what you might be used to. But I've managed to get used to it pretty quickly myself. So. That's crazy sounds. Um, just to show you what happens with the user patches here? Oh, I thought I had the other one saved. Um, let me just give you a little, a quick listen to some of the original patches. Some of the basic, oh, come up here. <laughs> I keep missing, I keep missing. Oh, it's, I'm getting off the top. No. Let's get airy strings. So do cool stuff like um, if you like the envelope of one of the other things you can drop the envelope of one thing and the timbre even of a thing onto the other so we drop it like that onto that and see what happens. So we drop this one on here. See?
So that's really cool. And if you hold down shift when you do that, it makes it a little bit different. Maybe not. Some of them are louder than others. So the next thing, I'll show you what we do when we take one from the start. So if we take uh, this bell sound again, drop audio in there, decomposes. Let's get bit big up again. And move our start point. It's like a different bell tone, what is that? a different bell tone. It'll do fine. I don't know what the L1 and 2 is yet. Maybe it's where it turns around. the size so. makes a very tiny piece density is how many of them Oh, that's why. They're the wrong ones entirely. I'm thinking there's something weird about them. Okay, let's get a limiter. Bit weak. Limit. Let's 
save. Steps. So let's do steps. See what's in the steps. Add a few steps randomly here. Change the speed. maybe. Uh, we'll also put that on steps. Or we could do an LFO and change the speed with the LFO maybe. quite a different timbre. So you add a few more. So here's a G chord, G minor. We're all together. We can spread that out and do different stuff with the, each of these. You can change the start time of that over to here. The, you just unlink them here like that. This one we could do so on link.
and then we, when we unlink that, we're back to nothing is being altered. And we can do this one on its own. And there's this thing in here in the middle. Changes the sound. I mean, look, the possibilities are endless there. So I'm going to play around with that for another while and I'll come back to you with some tutorials about how to use it to its best. And um, I'm absolutely blown away by this thing. And uh, I think if you've got the money for it, go get it now. If you don't have the money for it, go get it now. And just, uh, you can use it for 90 days on trial. It's, uh, it's an unbel unbelievable synth, it really is. Um, it's so much fun. You're going to waste hours or use hours productively. Um, you know what I mean, don't you? I've spent two days <laughs> locked into this and loving it, I really do. So, anyway, hit like, hit subscribe, do all the thing, and if you want to buy this, use the link in the description, and um, some bit of the thing will come to me, and uh, talk to you soon.